Welcome to another Spreadsheeters video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spreadsheeters website. In this video, we'll see how to put data from multiple columns into one column in Excel. Excel is a spreadsheet calculation that is used very frequently for calculating tables and uh, columns, but it is also used to maintain lists and databases. There may be a case where you need to combine several columns and uh, or combine the contents from several columns and place it into one column. In this example, I have the address split up into multiple columns, but I want to keep it in uh, one cell. So I need to combine all the text from these columns into a single column. Excel has three ways of doing this. Let's see the first one. This is to use the, uh, the first way is to use the ampersand operator. So I start with an equal sign, then I select the first piece of text, then say ampersand. Now, when I'm joining this text and putting it into one cell, I want some kind of delimiter or separator so that the text doesn't all run together. In this case, I'm going to use a hyphen. So I'm just joining that. Then I select the next one. And then again, another hyphen. And the next uh, value hyphen again, and then the last value, and say enter. So now you can see that all the text has been joined together, all the columns, and a hyphen has been placed between each value. So this is one way of doing this. I can then just copy this down. Let's look at the second way, which is to use the concat function. So this also joins pieces of text together. So I start concat, select the first one, and then put a comma. Now again, I need to give a delimiter. So the next piece of text is the delimiter. I enclose it in double quotes to indicate that it is text. Then address to delimiter, city, then the hyphen again, and finally the pin code, and close the brackets. And again, I have this joined. Now the third way is to use another function called the text join function. So I'll say text join. Now here I get to specify the delimiter in the beginning. And then I have an option to ignore empty cells when concatenating. <coughs> so I'll set that as true because I want the empty cells to be ignored. In the data set I have some empty cells. And then I can select the text. So address one, comma, address two, address three, and city, and then pin code and close brackets and say enter. So I have the same result. But as you can see, the text join is uh, easier to use if you need to uh, specify a delimiter, especially if you have a lot of pieces of text to be joined. If you have just a few, the concat or the ampersand uh, ways work fine. This is how to put data from multiple columns into one column in Excel. Please read the appended article for further guidance.